Welcome back to the Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to suspend users in bulk. You likely already know how to import users into your domain in bulk using a bulk import spreadsheet in the admin console. But when it comes to getting rid of users and the tiresome deprovision process, things can be a little bit trickier. So in the admin console, if we click into users, If we see a list of users, we can select multiple users at once. And then if we go up to these three dots, we only have the option to delete users, which isn't quite what you always want to do. Sometimes you want to suspend users, so that way you can still access their documents and you won't lose everything associated with that user. So delete can be a little bit too harsh to go with right away. So what if you want to suspend the users and then delete them at a later time. You can do this one at a time by clicking the three dots next to the user and scrolling down to suspend user. Or you can use the third party marketplace application called Better Cloud. So I'm going to click over into my Better Cloud interface now. And once in Better Cloud, I'll click into directory. And under users, I'll click explore. And this gives me the same list of users that I was seeing in the admin console. And if I want to filter this, I can filter it the same way by name or org unit and things like that. So I could choose just a specific OU to view. But we're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to export these users to a spreadsheet and suspend them in bulk. So we'll click this export to a spreadsheet button. click export. So this can take a few minutes if you have a lot of users. What we'll do now is go into our inbox and see if we got an email from BetterCloud with that list of users. And as you can see here, we have a link to the spreadsheet that contains all these users. We'll open that up. And you can see all the users here and you can sort these or whatever you need to do to pick the right ones that you'd like to suspend. And what we'll do is in this column, column I, next to the users, we will just write the word suspend. And if I want to suspend the next five or six users, I will drag this down. And while we're at it, we also want to hide these from the directory. So that way other users in our domain won't be emailing them while they're suspended. Let's drag that down. So now that we've updated this spreadsheet, what we'll do is we'll go back into Better Cloud. And before, actually, before we go into Better Cloud, I want you to note that this is user directory, and then it has the date and number one. So we'll go back into Better Cloud. And under directory, and then we'll go under users, we'll go to update, and that spreadsheet should be right here. There it is. And if you don't see it, you can click this little refresh icon. So we've got user spreadsheet, then the date, then number one. So that is a spreadsheet that we will be updating from. And we'll check this box that says email me when this task is completed, and we'll click update users. So as you can see right now, since the update is not completed yet, we can see next to all the users that they have a little check mark next to their name, which means it's an active account. They are not suspended. But let's see what happens after the update is complete. So we'll refresh the page. And now that the page has updated, we can see that these users are now suspended, which is the first step of deprovisioning a user. It means that they cannot log into their account nor use it, but you still have access to all their information so you can transfer documents that they own and things like that to other users before you delete them permanently. Suspension sort of the halfway point. And that is how you do it in bulk. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.